Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing an unboxing for the June Loot Crate. The theme for this month is Ultra Ego. Pretty excited for this one. Um, I'm doing autofocus on my camera this time. I'm giving it a second chance. I kind of didn't like how it turned out the first time I did it because it didn't focus on me when I was just sitting here. So hopefully the camera is doing its job. But getting into this month's crate, I'm kind of excited. Um, the only reason I'm not super excited is because I'm pretty sure I saw one of the spoilers because Loot Crate likes to put pictures up on Twitter now where they show off, you know, one of the items, which I hate. I hate when that happens. So, I think I'm pretty sure I've seen one of the items. But, we're going straight for the shirt. I already love the shirt. And this is actually insanely perfect. Um, this is a very light shirt. But it's Transformers. Um, that's awesome. I, I love Transformers like crazy. This is really cool, too. It looks like, um... Well, hopefully it's supposed to look like this, otherwise I got a messed up shirt. But it looks like it's the actual old version of Transformers. Like, it looks like they ripped this straight from the G1 cartoon from the 80s, which is super awesome. And it's perfect that they got this shirt, because this Thursday, um... I'm starting, like, throwback Thursday reviews, and the first movie I'm going to do is the old animated movie. So, this is perfect. I'm going to wear this shirt on Thursday while I do my review. But I love Transformers like crazy. And, of course, Optimus Prime, so he's awesome. Soundwave is my favorite for anyone who's a big Transformers fan. I love Soundwave. He's, like, he's my number one. Um, but that's a great freak shirt. It's simple, too. It's, like, it's actually a fairly small image, but I really like it. And, I don't know, something about it is very interesting. I'm surprised it's on blue, you know, especially with his, like, you know, obviously, they're a totally different color. But still, I'm kind of surprised that it's on a blue shirt. But it's also a very light shirt, and I love the feel. It's, like, insanely, insanely smooth. So... That's a really great shirt. It just feels really freaking good. So, normally the shirts are just normal t-shirts, but something about that is like super smooth. It's weird. So moving on, so big item here, and we have Spider-Man upside down Spider-Man. Uh, we have the gray variant, so that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, this is the thing I was talking about, where I was saying. I know one of the items, it's because this was on Twitter. I was just scrolling through and it was just like, boom, check it out. And as soon as I saw it, I, I knew it was going to be a spoiler. Like, as soon as I saw that picture, I was like, well, that's in the crate. I, like, it was instantaneous. I knew that it was. Um, I still like it. It's still super awesome. I don't know if I prefer this or the actual, the color one. It's hard to say because um, QV recently put out, it, it wasn't this actual figure. It's actually Peter with his camera, but he's still upside down. So, I don't know. It's hard to say if I prefer this one or... Um, like the actual the one that they have that I've seen them make before, but I do love this, and I love me some Spider-Man. So this is awesome. I'm so scared I'm gonna break this at some point. Itty bitty, can do it. Itty bitty little web right there. I don't know. I don't know if that has a long future. That's all I can say about that. But this is definitely a cool item. Oh, he actually swings! Holy crap! I thought. <laughs> okay. Let's get this stupid tape off of here. I thought it was just a still, um, a still figure, like most figures tend to be, but he just swings around. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that, that's amazing, but I'm not going to lie, that scares the crap out of me, because it's just like, swing too hard and he's just going to snap right off, but uh, that, you can't deny that that's super freaking awesome, so I do love this, this is even cooler than I thought it was going to be. And I can't wait to get some actual pictures of that. But little Spider-Man, upside down, almost like, you know, negative Spider-Man a little bit. So that's pretty sweet. I definitely love this item. And I cannot wait to get some good pictures of it. But that's really cool. I really wasn't expecting it to actually shake. So that's even cooler. So I definitely, definitely the best item. But once again, knew it was happening because of uh, Twitter. So there's that. But not that big of a deal. Still a great item. So boxes Let's see what up oh something else big in here so this might be another really great item we have oh it's just a oh, okay i don't want to say it until i show you guys <laughs> but we have a i'm gonna try to get my fingers right on this thing we have a hulk bowl it's just a bowl it's a six inch bowl and then his fingers are there on the side it's not much special it's, it, the weird thing is that there's no palm on the bottom it's just the fingers that stick up so it, it makes it even weirder but it's just a six inch, six inch bowl 
Um, nothing super special. Admittedly, that's a nice deep bowl. I eat cereal like an animal, so I prefer bigger bowls. So this is actually great for me because I use up the bowls and then I'm like, crap. I'll eat, there's only like three, so I I have another giant bowl to use. But that's not like an insanely epic item, but a bowl is actually useful. This is probably like the most useful uninteresting item they've ever had where it's like eh I don't really care but I'm gonna use this more than anything has ever been used in Loop Crate because it's a bowl and I love cereal so it's perfect got here oh okay this is actually really awesome this is the new 52 um, poster collection so we have 40 removable posters that is pretty freaking sweet so go through a couple of them here let's see I could take all of these bad boys out I won't go through all of them of course because then that kind of defeats the purpose of having it yourself plus I don't want them to fall out because um, I don't know if I'll actually ever remove any of these I think I'll just kind of keep them in there because they're little tiny postcards I don't know where I would put them but I kind of like having them just in this book where you can kind of go through and it's just like a little you know, great art book, and that's pretty much it. So, I love this. This is actually really, really cool. It's so simple, too. It's just, like, cool covers. And that's it. But they look really awesome. So, definitely excited to go through, like, this whole thing. It's actually fairly short. I could go through it, like, right now, actually. But it looks really cool. Um, got, the you know, all your Justice League characters. So, you got Flash. You got Aquaman. Uh, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. Got some Green Arrow in there. Oh, this is awesome. Um, I definitely want to show that off, uh, because that's based off of a very famous painting, and I just think that looked kind of awesome, so, love that. I love that Batman is, like, the only person who's, like, saving somebody in this. Everyone else is, like, running and flying. Batman's got, like, some random little kid in his arms, and I'm like, that, for some reason that seems weird to me, I don't know why. But this is really cool. Yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna ever actually take any of these out. But these look awesome, and they even have like the, cre the art credits at the very end to tell you, you know, who did what. So that's really cool. I definitely love this. This is a really cool item, um, Loot Crate Edition, so I don't know exactly what that means, but there is another version of this out there that you can get. But that's awesome. I love this. I don't, I really don't want to take the posters out. It's like its own little, you know, special little book, so I don't think I'll ever do that, but that that's really cool. Let's see what else we got. We got, oh, we have the, uh... The, the flag for this month for anyone who's doing like the the secret order the pens thing or order the keys yeah secret order the keys thing a uh, little flagship pendant thing in there so that's man eh, that's not that big of a deal to me um I know that they do typically they've been doing like downloadable stuff I feel like the past couple months they've done downloadable extra downloadable things um so I'm curious to see how that's going to start to advance and how it's going to kind of blend in. I feel like with what we got, it's going to be something digital as far as comics. It's got to be comics, because it's like, Spider-Man is in there, we got Hulk, we got DC Comics, Transformers, all of those have comic books, so I feel like this month's thing is going to have like, you know, a special extra downloadable comic. Oh, this is perfect. We have, excuse me, the, almost the originator of the Alter Ego, Jekyll and Hyde. That's actually very cool that they put that in there. I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, even though it should have been obvious, I didn't think of it, you know, but it's Luke Cray, so it, it, it's Jekyll and Hyde, it should be in there, so that's actually kind of cool, I like that pen, I believe, ow. I believe that's it, yep, that is it, and we got the, the booklet here, however, this might be my favorite box, because it turns into Optimus Prime, so that's going to be awesome, and I'm definitely going to get some pictures of that, um, Considering the cutout seems much simpler than last month's, it won't take me like an hour and a YouTube video tutorial to figure out how to do it. Because that freaking Destiny thing, I did it, and it took forever because it was so confusing. And it came out looking crappy. It does not look like it does in the book. And I was like, oh, this looks like a piece of crap. Like, even the, the symbol for the eye isn't even directly in the center. It's like, well, that sucks. Let's spend all that time. And it, it's not even worth taking a picture of because I think it looks really ugly. But I love Transformers, so I'm going to make Optimus Prime and... That should be pretty sweet. So I'm excited to do that. I'm actually excited for that. Of course, we'll go through and see what we got. Oh, that's going to take some time. But the little you know, secret order of keys. Let's see. Did you know that your crate now comes with hours of fun puzzling? 
puzzling challenges, use your loot in new and unexpected ways, and score the chance to earn a sweet special bonus in the next month's crate. It's our way of saying we love you. To qualify, log in to solve all the challenges before July 5th at 9pm. So we got that. Let's see, Special Edition Alter Ego. This month's pin, inspired by Jekyll and Hyde, show both faces at the same time. With this, with this apt pin, go to page 12 to learn more about this month's DLC. I love that they actually call it DLC, that's pretty funny to me. And it seems like, yeah, we got Sports Crate. I don't care about sports, but Sports Crate is coming out, so for anyone who might be interested, you got that. But, you know, they got the Spider-Man, Q-Fig, Transformers. That's such a sweet shirt. I really do love that shirt. I love Transformers like crazy. It would, would have been awesome, but of course, it's Optimus, so it's always going to be Optimus for the shirts. But I would love it if it was one day, just out of nowhere, Soundwave was on the t-shirt, because that would blow my freaking mind. I love the picture they have for the Hulk thing. I don't know if you guys can read it. It says Gamma Bites. I love that. That's actually really silly. Let's see. DC... Okay, so the Luke Pins DLC for this month is a limited time exclusive Green Ranger Volume 2 from the hit mobile fighting game Savan's Power Rangers Legacy Wars. I think I had seen that on Twitter as well, where it was showing something. I didn't know what the heck it was talking about, so I was just like, I don't know what this is. So you can unlock that. Um, I'll probably have that information down in the description. And I, I say this every month, but I still have to do it. I really need to, like, just put up all the codes that I'm never going to use before they expire so you guys can actually have them. But that one will be uh, in the description for sure. So, I'm, well, if it's up, because sometimes it takes a little bit, depending on how early you get your crate, um, the stuff isn't ready. That normally is. It's typically the month uh, content, like the stuff for your actual pin. So I would assume that this is um, actually already out, considering it's actually in the book and everything. And also has uh, free digital comics. It says keep an eye on your email for more information. But Valiant is doing something, so that should be interesting. Unlock so like the mysteries. This is what the um, box is actually supposed to look like. So that should be pretty cool. And of course, we're gonna move along. Oh, we got some cool community pictures. Oh, this is a good one of the uh, Jessica Jones figure. I actually took a couple of pictures of that as well that I put up on Instagram. But that's definitely a good one. Before, you know, she fell over and her head popped off. I have to glue it back on. Uh, this month's Mega Crate is insanely freaking cool. Oh, they're just showing all the different ones. Um, where is it? Actually, yeah, it's not on here. Because I think I saw it, but it's not the ones that are actually showing up in this. Huh. Yeah, these are like old crates for some really weird reason. I don't know why. So it's showing, like, you know, Mega Crate. Every month we give away... You know, a special assortment of glorious items known as the Mega Crate and Mini Mega Crate to Lucky Looters. Here are some past assortments. And it's just showing off random ones. So it shows off, like, the futuristic one. Uh, man, I really wish I got that hypno with that been sweet. Uh, the Origins one from January, which actually looks way better. That seems like one of the best ones they had. It was the whole, the entire original 1980s Ninja Turtle series. Um, an actual, you know, life-size replica shield of Captain America. Super Mario Monopoly, Superman's uh, statue, the uh, the little retro NES Super NES combo uh, system, and um, it's like an Apple iPad or whatever. I don't care about Apple that much, but yeah, that's weird. They don't show the actual Mega Crate from this month in the book, but it's something I didn't get. Well, actually, that's not true. I don't know if I didn't get it just yet. I, you have to check your email because I did win that mini Mega Crate one time, and. Um, they send you an email and all that stuff, but this is a decent crate. I really like the shirt, for sure. Um, the Spider-Man is my favorite item, but definitely Transformers is my second favorite. Just happens to be perfect timing with me doing my review this Thursday for the uh, for the movie. But Transformers t-shirt, cool upside down, actually swinging black and white. But I'm really scared to do that too much, but it's 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 so fun to actually do that. But we got a little black and white Spider-Man, even shooting from his web shooters, so that is absolutely amazing. Little uh, Jekyll and Hyde pin that dropped on my leg. I'm trying to make sure it's not upside. I can't tell with like Hyde's face being all distorted and stuff. I'm like, I can't tell which side is right side up. But Jekyll and Hyde pin, so that's pretty awesome. We have our um, 40 removable DC New 52 uh, posters for all the different super epic covers that they've done uh, since the New 52. Well, not all of them, obviously, just 40 of them. And then, of course, we have our Hulk sent six inch uh bowl for all your gamma bites and tiny little 
food needs, which is, like I said, actually useful for me because it's a, a decent sized bowl. Good for ramen, too. Those are always great for ramen. But I like this crate. Um, there's not much I really would have switched out. Well, I would have switched out the bowl if I knew it was a bowl. But, like I said, it's one of the, the most useful, uninteresting item they've ever had in the crate because it's like, I'm going to use the crap out of this bowl. I will use it until it falls and it shatters. So, oddly enough, it's perfect, even though it doesn't, it's not like, holy crap, it's a nerd item. Still, it's a bowl, and you know you're going to use it. So, it's like, it's one of those weird trade-offs. It's not like the pencils, like, from two months back. Just, I would never use that. They're pencils. I'm not in college anymore. Thank God I'm done with school. That's, you know, I don't need pencils and a pencil sharpener. I can't draw, so that also doesn't <laughs> really work for me. Um, but this, I think, was definitely a cool crate. It's definitely unique items. Like, I think this is very unique to have with um, the mini removable posters. I like that as an idea. And like I said, I don't think I'll ever actually take them out. It would just be like a cool book to like flip through. But that's really cool. I think that's a cool little idea. And of course, like I said, it says the Loot Crate Edition. So I'm going to look some information up and see what that means. I would put it, you know, in annotations, but YouTube doesn't do that anymore as to why it's the Loot Crate Edition of this, unfortunately. Um, I might put something in the description if I remember to do that, but... I think that's really cool. Like I said, I love the shirt. I love Spider-Man. The bowl is just the weird thing, but it's actually useful, at least. So, I do like this crate. Um, if I would have switched out anything, it probably would have been the bowl. And I can't really think of who I would put in. I mean, I would love to see more. They typically don't do this, but if there could be, like, two Spider-Man items, and there's one Spider-Man, and then there was another one that was, like, Venom or Carnage, that would have been super freaking awesome. But they typically don't do, you know, two items from the same thing. Uh, I think the last time that happened was, like, mm, 2015, I think, something like that, when they did the um, the Back to the Future thing, when they did, like, the time crate, and there was, like, a Doc Brown pop figure, and they also had, like, a little hoverboard, so I think that's about it. I think that was, like, the last time that actually happened, where it was, like, two items in, uh, from the same thing, but... Definitely like this crate. Of course, would love to know what you guys thought about it. Uh, what franchises would you guys swap out? You know, you got Spider-Man, Transformers, um, you know, all of DC Comics. So, I guess they, they really cover the bandwidth. Alter Ego, superheroes in general, of course. So, it's like DC Comics just across the board that's covered. <laughs> that's covered. And then, of course, um, you know, like I said, Jekyll and Hyde kind of started all with the Alter Ego. And the Hulk is obviously Marvel, you know, Marvel's answer to Jekyll and Hyde. So, they definitely got some of the best. Um, I wouldn't have expected Transformers. I was super happy to see that Transformers was in it. I know it's in the DX crate this month. I know Deadpool is in the DX crate as well. Um, I wanted to get that, but I didn't get it this year. I was like, the main reason I wanted it was because of Transformers, and I'm pretty sure I know what the item's going to be, because it's based off of one of the comic lines. So, honestly, I just have to assume it's going to be like the first volume of one of the comics. So I was like, meh. You know, and I wasn't super interested in the other uh, franchises in there. But I'm excited to see what they put in this month's crate. I hope I didn't screw up and miss out. Um, but I think this was a pretty decent crate. I love this Q-Fig. The fact that it moves is my favorite part of all. Um, you know what would have been great? Is if instead of it was just black and white, if this was uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. That would have been even better. I didn't even think of that until just now. But like, if it's going to be Ultra Ego for Spider-Man... The symbiote Spider-Man is the perfect costume, but that would have been unbelievable. I, that's my that's my favorite costume, in like all of comic books. Period. Um, that's like the one I would have loved to have seen that, but it's a black and white variant, so it's still unique. So that's super awesome. But overall, I think this was a fairly decent crate. Like I said, I would love to know what you guys thought about it. Um, favorite item, you know, least favorite item. What franchises you guys would have preferred to have seen in here? Like I said, Deadpool is going to be in the DX crate, so I'm sure a lot of people would have loved to have had Deadpool, just because Deadpool is super huge now. Um, but for me, I think this is fairly decent. Who knows uh, what's going to be in that DX crate with it being Alter Ego. Maybe, I think Spider-Man Homecoming specifically is in uh, the DX crate. I really can't remember. So maybe there's some Venom stuff in there. Um, especially, I don't know. Who knows what they're going to have in there. I can't remember if it's, you know, Homecoming or if it's just Spider-Man again. But I feel like maybe that's where we get the Venom or possibly, you know, the symbiote costume in some way, shape, or form. I hope it's not a figure of symbiote Spider-Man. I would be so mad that I missed out on that because I love symbiote Spider-Man. But really enjoyed this crate. Like I said, want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know. And, of course, thanks for watching.